All right, so this is the difference. Before I was using that ice scraper, and then everybody always told me never use, never use your knife. And so finally one day I was like, the hell with them, like I mentioned. So I started using the knife, and do not use the sharp side. It's got a sharp side on it, or whatever you want to call it. It's a piece of junk, but it's also got a dull rounded side. That side you want to use. So dull rounded side, all you want to get off is this white, so I'm sure you can see, and then this, not that red, but like these big chunks of meat. Don't get that off. So I just come up here, and I just start, with the knife, you just start pushing it off. You want to get the armpits, right there, all the way down. I normally have my dog in here to eat all this fat and everything, but they got sprayed by a skunk last night, so... Or uh, one of them did, and now they both smell like it, because that's just how dogs are. And I can skin a rat, and I, don't know, I did that other one in like three minutes or so, which isn't super fast, but I don't know, it's pretty fast for somewhere that you know only does 20 or 30 a year, I think, and I only do it, you know, anyways. But flushing is never anything I've seen anybody go, I can do it in 20 seconds, you know, no. Flushing is, is perhaps... At least for me, I don't know, one of the, well, definitely one of the slowest parts. You just take that blade, and you can see it comes off very easily, very fast. I'm really hardly putting any pressure with the armpit right here. There's always a little bubble of fat you want to make sure you get off. Right there. Now you can see I did cut the fur right there, but that part gets cut off, and that's... That's one of the main differences now in my put up, which I will show you. Um, I don't know if this is like just something that this guy does in particular, or if it's like, you know, something that doesn't degrade the fur. That's what I'm worried about, is if, is if they're gonna look at it and go, oh, nope, drop him down a grade, you know? Great and damaged or something. That's what I'm worried about, but I've done most of my rats this way now. I don't know. That's 12 or 15 of them this way out of 20, so if I get great and damaged, I guess I learn that and next year I don't do it. I don't see I don't see how because yeah, I just don't. Truthfully, these are not hard to flush at all. Very fast. In fact, that's that's it right there. That is flush. I'll probably yeah, like that right there. I can tell you need a neck or I'm like, uh, probably will get one. You just wait, because right now this is the uh, Sportsman's Warehouse uh, special. All right, so I will actually go through and probably trim some things off, but that is done, flushed, boom, ready for the board. All right, just kidding. That's, that's it's not time for the board. Oh, that's not time. Okay, so what we do is you see this butt section? We have the anus. In this case, we have the penis and everything right in here. All right, so I'm actually going to cut that off. Now, I was hoping that this hole would be down low enough, but it's still going to be there, so... Just whatever. So you want to take it and you want to cut it off right about here, maybe in there. So we're going to take the knife. And we're just going to cut that off right there. It's a little funny looking. Yeah, there we go. You know, make it, I mean, it gets kind of curved and almost looks like an inspection window, but you don't, it's not an inspection window. So yeah, that's what I do differently. It looks better to me. Um, in fact, I will put a picture of a fleshed right at the end with the window cut out, and like I'll just show you how it looks on the board. And I think because the back fur is really what they're grading, from what I understand. That's what they're they're looking at this fur. So by cutting that away, it enables them to look at this a lot easier. All right, forget the picture. So this is what I did 
a day or two ago, okay? So this is the back side. I'll show you, you know, why I use the clips, but anyways. Uh, this is on a wire number one stretcher, okay? Real nice back, all the memories are gone. It's a good, good looking fur. Now we turn it around, look what we have there. We've got this piece gone, and it enables them to look at that fur right there. Um, also another thing I do, did you see this pin right there? On a board, you would just stick a pin in there, but this way, you actually have to stick the pin in and then under and back in, if that makes sense. You wanna keep this nose up on the stretcher so it doesn't slip down. This one isn't quite centered right. As you can tell, I didn't pay attention to that. But that's a good looking rat right there, nice and clean. Hardly any grease on there, just a quick wipe and that will be all done. So that, um, so that's a small rat actually. Here's a rat that was caught the same day. Well, not much bigger. I got some rats in here that are that are big. Um, but yeah, so that's gross. So that's why I do that. I think it looks better, looks really nice, and uh, that's how we will board this one right here. And uh, you guys will be able to follow me as I do it, and hopefully learn something. So hold on one second, I'll get the boards out and get them ready.